friends good morning welcome in our new session in this session we will continue our previous video and uh, in this session we will continue our previous chapter and already i have discussed some part in our previous video if you have it, if you have not seen it then please refer please see the first video then after you will get the second part of the story now let's start see in the first part we discussed that uh, about the craftsman okay how he had lost his craze and how kishan lal become a very famous after when he lost his uh, craze and when he stopped to make a uh, stop making doll at that time what happened that part already i have discussed in my previous video now in this video we will discuss what happened as far as the demand of a granddaughter he made a doll okay at the beginning he was not ready to do it but finally when she uh, demanded it requested him that time he accepted reluctantly accepted his condition and he made a doll now what happened for the scene the old man was utterly scared of his daughter she was strict and by everyone in the family he did her dictates see here the characteristic of subhadra subhadra's nature has explained by the writer here she was very strict this character is a very strict character the old man was frightened him frightened her means he was scared of his daughter she was strict because why he was scared he was scared because she was very strict today engross engross means here the dumb engross the meaning of engross is completely engage in completely engage the meaning of engross engross in his doll making the old man didn't realize his daughter was approaching the meaning of approaching no doubt approaching it means you are coming closer coming closer okay approaching him from behind felling her arms see what happened he was completely engaged see as far as the demand of his granddaughter he started to make a doll and he was completely engaged in that and when he was making doll at that time he didn't know what what he was not doing he was not doing his daughter was coming here okay daughter was approaching from behind as she called out him he looked he took off his glasses and kept staring at her like innocent child see already uh, the writer told you that the old man the old craftsman scared utterly scared his to his daughter because she was very strict by the nature his daughter said cow is yet to be made and here you are wasting time with subhadra is it her age to play dolls the old man babbled why should subhadra play with it i will say this say this dolls at the palace the the day my dali gets married she has to have a gold necklace i want to save money for that subhadra friends subhadra is the name of his granddaughter okay his daughter said cow is yet to be made means lot of work remain pending and you are wasting time with your granddaughter subhadra the old man back why should subhadra play with you i will sell this doll at the palace 
my daddy get married he was telling his name is subhadra is a name from granddaughter and he was telling his granddaughter dadi okay and i will sell this dog at the palace that my day the day my daddy gets married she has to gold necklace i want to sell some money for that okay he told this thing to his daughter and our daughter snap and the palace who will buy such a dogs she was also knowing that the people stop what people stop to purchase a dog from them the old man hung his head and hung his head in shame and became quiet so badra looks at her and said let me see how anyone can stop herself from buying dada dog and the palace see when his daughter shouted on him that time he became he felt very nervous he felt very disappointed his head he hung his head in shame okay and became quiet subhadra so, shook her head and said let me see how anyone can stop herself from buying dada's doll and pants a couple of days later subhadra so, returned with the gold coins and said to her mother said to her mother take this mohur the price of my dada's doll see mohur is a type of currency here okay hmm? mohur is a currency type of currency is here mohur is a gold coin used during the 16th century and later in india mohur is a gold coin okay and she had sold that uh Doll in the courtyard, and she brought some mohu. Mother asks, "Where did he get this?" The doctor says, "I sold the doll at the palace." See how she got the mohu. That she explained. She told that by selling his granddaughter, grandfather's doll, she bought. Okay, it. She got it. The doctor said, "I sold." It. the doll and the palace the old man said with a chuckle dadi if only if only your dada could see better his hands would be shake so much delighted her mother said if we have just 16 of this mohur we can get necklace for subhadra see that is expectation she expressed her wish her ambition if she could get such a 16 mohur then she could purchase the necklace for subhadra no worries then assured the old man and the old man was there to listen it and he told his daughter don't worry about it not to worry about it subhadra embraced her wait her grandfather and said dada bhai no worries for finding my necklace the old man started laughing as he wiped a drop of tears off his eyes the old man had found his youth back sitting under a tree he would make make a doll such as subhadra chase away the crows and fox and pull out water from the well in the distance one by one 16 mohur were placed and now strung into beautiful necklace finally they could complete their dream the writer tells us they could complete their dream okay they started to make this uh, old man old craftsman started to work again and his daughter grand daughter started to sell that dolls and by this they earn 16 new the mother said only the groom is missing okay after completing that necklace mother of subhadra told that only groom is missing subhadra whispered into the old man's ear dada bhai my groom is ready Subhadra so, told her she had seen a groom for her grandfather asked tell me dadi where did you find him subhadra so, said the day i went to the palace the guard asked me what was i there for i told him i wanted to sell this sell dolls and the princess he said this dolls old sell turn me away a man who saw me Crying, saying, "Here, give me your dolls." See where she found her 
groom that explanation has here given here subhadra is telling that on that day when she had gone to sell his doll that time the guard told her okay what do you want what is here what was there for you okay i told him i wanted to say dolls or princess he explained why she was there she had gone there to say doll for princess he said this dolls would say turn me away a man who saw my saw me crying said here give me your dolls if i alter this is the beat they will say very well if you like this man dada i shall be happy to put the garland around his neck so what that told that the man who helped her to sell this doll okay she liked that man and if dada means if granddad grandpa if you like that person then i she was ready to put a garland around his neck it means she was ready to marry with him the old man asked where is he they are under a pl tree and it like the granddad the groom to be entered the room the old man said but this is kishan da see the grandpa asked where is he where is he that time she replied that she is under the tree and when he called her uh, him that time he entered and when he saw that at that he was shocked he was surprised and it was that the groom was ishanda ishanda touched his old man touched the old man's feet and said yes i am ishanda the old man embraced him kind and said my dear one one day you had snatch the dolls i made now you are taking away the doll of my life see one day you had snatch means the kishan lal had taken his business he had snatch his business and now he was taking his doll it means his own grand daughter the grand daughter put her arms around the old man's neck and whispered to him dada with you in cho okay means finally the grandpa accepted the story here the doll two dolls are becoming a by the writer one is the doll which he was making and another doll that is the doll of that is his uh, his granddaughter okay that was his doll here we have completed the story now in the next lecture we will discuss in a or in a full bit we will discuss the question and answer based upon it i hope that you understood this story story very very well listen this listen very well because in the next lecture i will take question and answer based on that thank you very much friends